Although born in London to Jamaican parents, Lennox Lewis moved to Canada as a child. Received a buy in the, uh, or a walkover, I should say, in his next bout. As an amateur, he represented Canada at two Olympic Games. Stopping that! Canada's first gold medal! Canada's first gold medal! When he turned pro, he was showered with high praise and were predicted to be can't miss prospects. Cut by the left eye and he's in trouble. Lennox knew how to put opponents away and wasn't afraid to let his hands go when he had an opponent in trouble. Lennox Lewis now sticking that jab in there. The hard-hitting Lewis became the WBC's mandatory challenger on Halloween night in 1992 when he knocked out Donovan Razor Ruddick in the second round. Right hand to the body! Ruddick in trouble! On the 14th of December 1992, the WBC declared Lewis its champion because the new heavyweight champ Riddick Bove avoid a mandatory defense against Lennox. That was a, a, a coward's way out. Why don't you just say you don't want to fight me? Why do you have to go through all that? Lewis defended WBC belt three times and the solitary defeat on his record came in an upset loss to Oliver McCall in 1994. Lewis unbeaten a member after 25 fights. Oh, he's got him. Oh, Lewis walked into a right hand. Lewis recaptured the vacant WBC title by defeating McCall and then defeated lineal champion Shannon Briggs. Nice jab, right. Oh, oh, the right hand behind the jab. He had destroyed the competition since his one career blemish. Well, this is almost over. Galata cannot think in there. He had knocked out contenders Andrew Galota and Michael Grant, and he had comfortably outboxed Evander Holyfield to unify the crown. And the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox. Little was expected of Haseem Rockman entering the fight, but Rockman was no stranger to upsetting the odds. Lennox could be going against a much dangerous opponent than he can imagine. By 2001, Rockman was on the verge of a title shot, and when he beat Corey Sanders, his dream of fighting for the title was finally about to come true. This is the first fight I really took serious, and, and, and I mean, really no, no shortcut. Because I'm looking to knock him out in the early rounds anyway, so all this climatized thing that they're talking about is it, going gonna, gonna to be to no avail anyway. Rockman entered the fight as a massive 20 to 1 outsider, and nobody outside of his camp gave him a chance. We both of us come to fight. Both of us believe we're going to win this fight. The referee did so. Rockman will try to out jab the jabber. Rockman starting off with his left jab to the body. Then there is no reach advantage. And as you pointed out, it's quite understand. Look, you get in the ring with the heavyweight champion, you got to become heavyweight champ yourself when he jabs. And that's not a good idea with a right hand puncher like Lennox Lewis. I can tell you that Fox turn is right head, his head to the right when he jabs. One of the criticisms of Rockman the chance to counter. When Michael Grant did that I like to get into I've actually seen him go soft what you're good at no, it's your he seems uh, very composed but from the opening bell Rockman showed confidence in his own ability with 500 stitches on his head Lennox Lewis is not the kind of players that his the challenges come to him. That's why he's there when Lennox him. Lewis had a lot of trouble. Five with... rounds before Lewis landed a huge he left, it, but he leaped in with the right hand. Rockman's corner was banked for you. Compy box numbers in round one. Right hand, left hook. Not anyone who will listen here that he would knock Rockman out early rounds could be significant. His game uppercuts dominated his holy field, helped him win the decision. Rockman's ear. that right hand, but he's going to have to have an end. Faint the right hand. Oh. Normally when Lewis is able to land... He didn't back off Lewis and looked to just survive a few rounds with the champ. You can set a fight ahead. You just go after him with the power. The knockout will come. Survive long and enough. Love jail then. And Lewis with an uppercut. Well, the referee breaks him up. The second round on, Lewis has gotten sharper. Well, Rockman's got this big target, the chest of Lennox Lewis. He can land shot. Lewis is well, Jim out working him. Up 
Now, all things are happening good for Rockman. Rockman already here in round three, indicating that Lewis might have caught him with the right hand. Rockman gets Lewis wild with the left. Left hook to the body and a left right. Round four begins with a Lewis right hand. Lewis, Jim, would you give the big heavyweight champ rounds two and three? Lennox got a lot of room to punch. Lewis was far less busy than usual, perhaps struggling with the altitude, but generally remained in control of the early rounds. Well, sometimes Lewis with his hands at or below his waist. Well, he's got a lot of power on it, but it showed him that he can't. But you only get one of these good fights like this. And another right hand does right now. Trying to bring the heavyweight champ he into turns his head to his right when he jabs. So they Lewis targeting Rockman. The crowd is chanting Rockman, Rockman. When he performs a little better than you expect him to, he can win the round by Lewis by copy box numbers. In the first is it all. He's been under 40 punches per round. To the, left, to the body once or twice, then he comes up with that right hand. Presents the classic quandary for the judges. It's the busiest right hand. hand. He's having trouble seeing out of his. So what? Yeah, you gotta go. That's right. Don't make any looks. Don't touch right. him touching his face like that. He's two pins back to the ropes. Right hand by right hand. That's what you gotta do. You fighting for the title. What's happening now? In the fifth, just as Lewis started showboating with his hands down, he backed into the ropes and was caught with a right hand that blasted through his guard. Lewis never looked like getting up. Has Rockman pulled the upset he has? He got a brand new heavyweight champion, and he's from the United States. And I came off the tour, you see one punch, one punch power with the right hand. I mean, give me some props. This is what happens in heavyweight boxing, you get caught with a good shot, and you know, there's a rematch clause, and uh, you know, second time around, Hasim Rockman is going to be down. Lewis had a rematch clause in place, and the rematch was on November 17, 2001, in Las Vegas. In the fourth round, we witnessed a stunning knockout.